let's find a closed formula for the sum of triangular numbers. The mth triangular number, t sub m, is the sum of the first m positive integers. This number can be represented by a triangular stack of squares like this one here, where there's one square in the first row, all the way down to m squares in the bottom row. Let's start with a triangular stack of squares corresponding to the triangular number t sub n. That means there's n blocks in the bottom row. In the first row, place one token, so we've placed t1 tokens. In the second row, place one token in the first square and two tokens in the second square, so that we've placed t2 tokens in the second row. Then place t3 tokens in the third row as 1 plus 2 plus 3. Continue this pattern in each row, placing i tokens in the ith square in the row. Then, the number of tokens in this triangular diagram is given by the sum of the first n triangular numbers, t1 plus t2, and so on, up to tn. To find this sum, we perform a trick. We create two more triangular arrays like this. In the first one, we place the same number of tokens in each row, but this time, we place the tokens in reverse order, starting with the largest number of tokens in a row and going down to one. In the third triangular array, we place the same number of tokens, but this time we go column by column starting from the end. So the last column has one token, the second from the last column has T2 tokens, and so on, so that the first column has Tn tokens. So the total number of tokens spread across these three triangular arrays is three times the sum of the first n triangular numbers. Now we perform the trick. Stack all three of these triangular arrays together, aggregating the number of tokens at any spot. It turns out that in any single spot, we always have exactly n plus 2 tokens on that spot. And therefore, 3 times the sum of the first n triangular numbers must be equal to n plus 2 times the number of squares in the triangular array, which is t sub n, and that simplifies to n times n plus 1 over 2. So we used three stacks of triangular arrays with a triangular number of tokens in each row to see that the sum of the first n triangular numbers is n times n plus 1 times n plus 2, all divided by 6. In his first Proof Without Words compendium, Roger Nelson attributes this proof to Richard K. Guy. Can you see other identities you can prove using stacks of tokens on certain arrays? Check the linked video where we show how to use this technique to find the sum of the first n squares.